Hello and welcome to this video tutorial brought to you by tutvid.com. What we have happening here is this is a flash file that I just placed in an HTML file using Dreamweaver and that's exactly what I'm going to show you how to do here as well as a couple little tips along the way right here right in this video. So first thing you need to do is open up Dreamweaver and get your page open but before we do that we actually need to I'm going to delete the flash file I've got in here what we need to do is import a flash file into Dreamweaver and in order to do that we can't import an FLA because an FLA cannot be played. The FLA of a flash file, the .FLA that is, that's the editable file. You need to export a playable file which is the .SWF and you can do that in Flash. Here I'll just show you how real quick. Let me just create a new file. What you would do is come into your publish settings and set your format probably just to the type flash.swf not html and then you can just hit publish here or you can just come up here to your file menu and hit publish hotkey is shift f12 and basically that's just going to save a .swf wherever you have saved your fla file unless you specify somewhere else here in the publish settings area and another very cool thing is that you really don't have to worry about compatibility issues between Flash and Dreamweaver. They're both produced well now by Adobe, but Flash 8 here was made by Macromedia, and so was Dreamweaver 8. So compatibility is very superb here on these two programs. So that's how you create your SWF file. Next, how do you actually get your SWF file into this Dreamweaver site? Well, there's several ways you can do that. Um, here, the easiest way, well, I've got my Windows Explorer window. I've got my file right here. You just take it, drag it, and drop it right on top of that Flash folder, and there you go. It's in. It's really super easy. Okay, so let's take a look at actually getting this into our site. I'm going to select exactly where I want it to go, the line I want my SWF file to be dropped on, and that's this line right here. And then I'm going to come up here to my Common Tools, in my menu up here. Now if you do have the tabbed menu just select the common tab. I prefer the menu view. And then over in here we've got all of our plugin stuff. Okay, we got our generic plugins, uh, Shockwave, some flash stuff, flash video, and regular flash files as well as some other things. We're just going to select the flash and it's going to ask us to select a file. Now by default it's going to bring you to your root folder here. So we're just going to double click into the flash folder and we're going to select jwintro.swf. It's going to ask us for some attributes here. We don't have to give it anything, although you can give it a title if you want, but just hit OK. And there we go. This is our flash file. Now, it doesn't really look like the flash file that we exported from Flash because it's all gray. Um, Dreamweaver does this, unlike with images where you can actually see the image. Dreamweaver just puts a placeholder in the place of a flash file, but it is there. It's just not playing or showing you uh, what's there because it doesn't want to hog up all of the memory on your computer. We can view what's there by hitting this play button here. There's a play button down in the properties panel. Just like that. Or you could save this HTML file and hit F12 which is the hotkey for previewing it in your browser. That works as well. Just hit the stop key when you're done. Now there are a few little edits you can perform on your Flash file. Once you've got it in Dreamweaver, you can do things like adjust the size, uh, width and height. You can adjust the quality. You can set it to loop or autoplay or both or neither. Um, you can also perform more complex edits, but not right here within Dreamweaver. You have to take it back into Flash to do that. Now, I can't show you how to do that here but I will explain how. What you have to do is hit the edit button. It's pretty simple. And it grabs the FLA file and brings it back into Flash. Now the reason I can't show you how to do it is because, well I could, but it takes a little bit of time. You need to have the SWF file and the FLA file together. So in order to find the FLA file for this SWF, I would dig around on my hard drive for a little while. And I don't really want to keep you waiting. So that's what you would do is you hit the edit button. It would bring you over into Flash, open up the file, Okay, can you imagine the file showing up here? This is terrible. Um, and then up here in the top left hand corner of your file is a done button. And you, when you're done editing, you hit the done button and it's going to pop you back over to Dreamweaver and voila, your SWF file is updated and everything works perfectly. So 
That's how you perform more complex edits on your FLA. Just one little thing I want to point out. When you do resize, you want to try to keep your flash file proportionate. And by that I mean, you know, right now the width is 500, the height is 350. So I could grab the handles here, and you can see I can make it very tall and skinny, but it would look absolutely terrible. And I can make it very thin and flat. That would look bad as well. So all you have to do when you grab these handles is just like if you're working in Photoshop or Flash, hold the shift key to constrain the proportions of what we're doing. So I'm going to make this just a little bit smaller. And now when I play it, you can see, there we go. It's just a little bit smaller. And it's really that easy. Working with Flash in Dreamweaver is cakework. It's super easy. You know, all that's left to do is upload this SWF to the server, upload our HTML file, and that's it. This file will work beautifully. So I'm just going to save it and close it, and that's it for this one. You now know how to add Flash files to your Dreamweaver page. Now, you can use that to add navigation bars. You can use it for an entire Flash site um, because, see, when you make a Flash site, you still have to put it into some sort of an HTML shell so that you can actually upload it to the web. If you just upload a .swf file, browsers, at least not yet. Um, well, actually, I take that back. Browsers will recognize an SWF file, but what it does is just fills out your entire page. You have no way to align it or constrain it and keep it in one area of the page. You can just upload an SWF file, but unless you have it set to oh space out quite a bit, and be able to compress quite a bit for smaller and larger and even bigger than large monitors, um, you're probably going to have some issues with your SWF file. So that's how you get that site into an HTML file. That's how you get your intros, navigation bars, everything you'd ever want to get made out of Flash into an HTML page to upload to the web. That's how you do it. And I hope you've learned something. Please go check the site out. That's www.tutvid.com, spelled T-U-T-V-I-D.com. Thank you very much for watching this.